Okay, so we've set up our controller to show our topic index and also an individual topic. But what we're gonna be doing in this part is pulling this all together so we actually pull results out of the database. We show a list of topics on here with the ability to click through and go onto any topic by its ID. So these are kind of things that are really good to practice because most of the time when you're building an application, you'll find yourself pretty much listing through things, clicking through to places by a particular ID. So it's always good to kind of pull these things together in an example. So let's start by just heading over to our text editor and setting up our database. We know that we need to attach this to the container we now know that we can access our container items from our controllers, so we can very, very easily uh, start to make queries here. So let's start by just defining this out. We're gonna be using PDO for this, just a little bit easier to get started with. Uh, we are gonna be looking at some alternatives later, but let's go ahead and return a new PDO instance in here, and let's go ahead and choose our driver. In this case, I'm using MySQL, but you can use pretty much anything you want. Let's go ahead and say that our database name here is Slim, and we also have a host here, which is just localhost in this case. And for me, the password and the username are root and root. So we now have database uh, access on our container, if you like, and we can go ahead and start to just set this up, pull through these topics and show them. So let's create a new table. Of course, I'm just gonna call this topics. And in here, we obviously need an ID. Uh, now the software I'm using will generate this for me, but you may need to add an ID in here type of integer, the length doesn't matter too much, uh, unsigned, and it needs to be a primary key and auto increment, so increments for every record that we create. So let's go ahead and create a title here, let's do this, and let's make this not nullable, because we need that in there. And let's also go ahead and duplicate this down and do a body as well, this is gonna be text, and that is pretty much it, I think, for now to get going. So what I'm gonna do is just very quickly create a five or six example topics and we'll look at pulling these through. Okay, so that should be enough just to get us going. Of course, if you are uh, building some kind of forum, you could go ahead and add more details in here. You could relate these to a user. Let's keep this uh, as kind of simple as possible in the database schema for now. Okay, so over on the topic controller, in our index, we know that we are already rendering this index view just here. But of course, what we need to do is pass down some data to this and go ahead and iterate over it. So what I would do in this case is create a variable just here. In this case, I need to say this cdb, because we now have access to this, and we're going to create a query. We don't need a prepared statement because we're not passing any details in, but let's go ahead and just select all columns from the topics table. That's as simple as uh, it gets for now. And now we're gonna say fetch all, and we're gonna go ahead and say pdo fetch object, so we can get an object back of all of our topics. So now we can go ahead and pass these through. We can either do this with an array manually like this, so we could pass through topics down to this view, or uh, we looked a little bit earlier at instead using compact and passing through the name of the variable that you want to pass down. So either way, it's entirely up to you what you do here. I'll leave it like this, because I think for some people this is a little bit more convenient. Okay, so now that we have those over on our index, now it's time to go ahead and render them out. So we can extend our base layout if we want. So remember to do this, we say extends and we choose the layout. In this case, it's layouts app.twig and we have a block in there. So we can just copy this code over just to save a little bit of time. And let's go ahead and start to output these. So you may have some kind of topic div. So I'm just gonna create one here. And inside of this, you might have say an H3 or an H4. It really doesn't matter too much. And then inside of here, we want to, for every topic, create this. So let's go ahead and do this now. So up here, remember to do this, we say for, and then we say topic in, and then the name of the variable we're passing down. And then down here, we can go ahead and end that for. So now we can just output the title of the topic in here. And remember, we need to set a link up to this as well. So this will eventually be some kind of anchor. But for now, let's just say topic dot title or name, whatever you've called it. And this should be good enough just to check that this is working. So let's come over, give that a refresh, and it looks like we've got an error. Um, and this is because we're using PDO, but it can't actually find uh, this within our uh, controller because of course we are namespacing this. So there's a couple of options. We can either say use PDO just up here explicitly, or if you'd prefer, you can use a backslash here to uh, denote a kind of root namespace. I like to use up here. I think it's a little bit cleaner. 
So give that a refresh and there we go. There are our list of topics. What we can do though is just increase this maybe to an H3. And of course here you would add any other information like who it was posted by, uh, the date it was posted, whatever you want to do. But I want this to be an anchor. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this in an anchor like so. And then here we need to figure out the URL and it's obviously gonna go through by its ID. Uh, so let's go ahead and think about this now. So under show, let's start by just pulling in request and response and also args. So we have them arguments available and we can pick out that single topic. The next step is to come over to Bootstrap app or rather to our web roots and we need to give these a name so we can very easily reference them. So you could give this a name if you wanted to, but in this case, this is really the only name I need. And I'm gonna call this topics.show. So what I tend to do is keep these under a kind of common namespace. So these are for topics. And then I say show based on the method I've given. So it just helps to keep things nice and consistent. So now that we've got this, we can reference this by name over here. So very simply, we can say path for and then we can go ahead and say topics.show. Now the only problem is we need to pass an ID through to this. So at the moment we see the following and it says that we essentially have missing data for URL segment ID. All that means is we haven't passed an ID through to here because remember over on our routes, we are expecting an ID to be passed in this URL. So all we need to do is just go ahead and say topic.id or what we can do in this case, I think, is use an object here and we would say ID and then we would explicitly say that is the topic ID. So this is how we would pass parameters through uh, when we're generating uh, paths for URLs. And if you had other data you were passing through, you would just go ahead and do that in there separated by a comma. So now we should have a list of topics that we can click through to. So topic one, topic two, and you see the ID is here as well and uh, so on and so forth for however many you have. So now that we've kind of hooked that up, what we need to do is take this, make a query to the database and go ahead and pull out that topic. So I'm going to copy this line because it's fairly similar. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this down. And this time I'm gonna call this topic. So we're saying this container database. This time we're gonna use a prepared statement and we're gonna select everything from the topics table. So all columns, but this time where the ID equals a particular ID. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, execute this in just a moment. So let's go ahead and get rid of fetch all and let's execute this passing through the ID that we want to inject into this prepared statement. So we're gonna say topic execute and we're gonna again pass through into this ID. And remember this comes from our args now and this is an array. So we can just pull that out by the key that we specified over in here. So pretty straightforward. So now we can go ahead and pass this through to the view uh, we don't have one, so we need to go ahead and create one. So again, I tried to keep to a similar naming structure here. So under topics, we've got index. I'm gonna call this show.twig. And in here, we will do pretty much the same as this. So I'm gonna copy this over because we need to extend our base layout. This time though, what we're doing is we're showing our topic. So at the top, we're gonna have our topic title and all that kind of stuff. So before we start to fill this out, let's pass this down. So at least we know what we're doing and uh, we need to pretty much render a view. So again, we can just copy this down, we're doing the same thing. This time it's show.twig and we're compacting topic to pass down as an array. And just as a side note, if there were other things you needed to pass down, you can go ahead and comma separate these here as well. So if you needed to pass multiple things into your view, that's what you would do, or just use the array syntax, it's entirely up to you. So now that we have this, what we should get is, if we just head over to here and give that a refresh, our view. Now we're not doing anything at the moment, so we can go ahead and update this with the data that we've passed down. So we're gonna to say topic.title, and then down here, we're gonna to say topic.body. And obviously we're working with limited data here, but hopefully this gives you a good idea. Give that a refresh. And it's not working because if we come over, we of course need to fetch our results. So what I would normally do in this case is say topic equals topic, then I would say fetch, and then I would pass through PDO, fetch object, I want to pull it as an object, give that a refresh, and we see that topic. So what we can now do is click on any of these topics and see that topic on the page. A very simple example, but these are the kind of things that you would do day to day when you're building really any application. So as long as you understand this, you could pretty much start to pull together uh, anything you needed. So we grab a list of topics and pass them to a view, 
We grab a single topic, buy its ID in the URI, and we pass it to a view. Very, very simple. So now that we've covered this, then you should be able to go through and build anything very similar to this. Of course, there's a lot more to learn, but this should give you a good idea as to where to start to build anything that has a list of things that you click on to view.